We're at the first Cold Water Classic event in Tasmania, which kicks off the Cold Water Classic series for 2009, which is a series of five events for the first time. It's a new addition to the world of surfing. Five events at five extreme locations, pretty much at the edges of the world. A series of five WQS contests, four six-star events, one four-star event, um, lots of prize money, um, but more the experience of going to those locations. Look, there's nothing like the Cold Water Classic series in professional surfing at the moment, if you ask me. Um, if you look at the landscape of professional surfing events at the moment, there's probably 40 or 50 events all around the world. Most of those are held in the idyllic tropical sort of locations with board shorts and warm water and um, that sort of scenery. This is something entirely different. This is all about cold water. It's a series of five events um, being held in some pretty remote, challenging, unique locations. Scotland's the most northern event on the tour. Tasmania is the most southern event on the tour. Canada will be the coldest. South Africa will be the wildest. And back to Santa Cruz, just the most classic surf event. It's kind of a surf road trip with a contest. It honours why Jack O'Neill started the brand when he invented the wetsuit. He used to go out into cold water, you know, they used to laugh at him when he, when he created the first wetsuit. And I think it's a kind of really cool way of honouring his legacy as well. This is a serious test. It, it's not just about who's, who's the best surfer and the most talented surfer in my mind. It's a serious physical, mental, emotional challenge. Surfing cold water is a lot different to surfing warm water. It just hits harder. Like it just, I don't know if it physically weighs more, but it just feels like it weighs more. You've got to be kind of a hardened surfer <laughs> so to deal with the cold, I suppose, that, and put on it rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Tasmania is really going to set the tone for the Cold Water Classic series. I mean, we know it's got plenty of swell and then the setups to handle that swell, but it's, it's just got it all. It's got everything we want for the Cold Water Classic series. This is pretty much how we expected it. Really remote, really rocket, really far away from the rest of the world. There's not much here and uh, there's, there's some, plenty of waves, but um, not much else. Nothing really ever happens in Marawar, like an event is when a cow has a calf or something. So <laughs> to have a six star contest here. Let alone having it in Tasmania is pretty big. Yeah, to, that's to it. Have it to have here. it in Marawar, like as you can see, there's nothing yeah. here. This is a big thing not only for the Marawar community, but this is a big thing for the state of Tasmania. This is probably, I would say, the, the biggest international event that Tasmania's ever seen. It's a great way to start the series, and it's a perfect time of year because if you look at the ASP Tour, most of the travelling surfers are here right now. So we're getting a, a very high quality of surfer here, and um, I think that they're going to enjoy the experience. It's amazing, really, just to hear that Jordy Smith's coming down and people like that just we're watching him on videos just going, oh my God, is he really doing that? Now he's coming down here. At the Cold War Classic Series is definitely a project that's risky, um, but it can be very rewarding. It will be an amazing experience for all the surfers to only come to those places. But if you get the waves that we're hoping for, then it can be probably one of the biggest things in surfing this year and in the future.